from that, you, you saw good and bad. What did you take from that experience going forward? What did you learn from well, I loved it. I mean, the first thing I would say, and you guys already know that, is you, you want to work in the movie business, you can't be in New York. Um, you kind of have to be here uh, to, to really be in the eye. I mean, it, there are some companies in New York that are doing stuff, but where we were it was sort of like, uh, I felt a little bit removed from Hollywood proper. And um, I was there for four years. I was going to go as far as I you know, could go there. Um, I hit the ceiling. There wasn't a lot of room. Uh, and the thing I kind of learned was that I always wanted to write, but I felt like it was hard. And um, you have to be really good at it. And then you read all these scripts, and you're like, nope, not real. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be OK at it. You have to sort of know how to like put words together, really. And, um, and I was fascinated by that, because I always sort of thought you had to aspire to be like your heroes, like the things you watch and love. And wanna, if you're going to do anything, why not do that? And that puts so much pressure on you, when in fact, you can just you could be very average and do a great job in, in Hollywood, um, and uh, a lot of people, a lot of people don't really, you know, take advantage of that, or I should say, too many people take advantage <laughs> of that in the wrong way. Because right. yeah, most of the scripts that, that you read, and even when I moved out here, I was reading a lot of scripts, um, and I love reading scripts. But you find a lot of times, like if someone bought this for money. Wow, <laughs> what about it? Did, did that? How did that work? I want that. I want to do that. <laughs> So that was the inspiration. It wasn't from reading great stuff. It was from reading the terrible stuff. It made me feel like, yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, it's a great message because normally we try and bring up, you know, and introduce everyone to these great inspirations when, when reading crap can be just as inspirational. I mean, you know, if, if you psych yourself up or psych yourself out all the time because you just you're like, ah, this is terrible and. And then you read something else that's also terrible, and you're like, mine's not much more terrible than that. <coughs> and that was uh, very inspirational. <laughs>